So, all right, everybody, we're sorry for the technical difficulties. We did just test this and we, it was working about five minutes ago. And uh, hopefully at some point or another, Jason will give me a thumbs up and say that he can hear me uh, so that I know he's with us. Um, but for right now, he's going to continue to keep on working on trying to hear me and figure things out. Um, in any case, uh, Jason is the CEO of LifeNair. I am the author and the founder of uh, LifeNair. I'm the author of the book. Um, I know that we have people from all over the place who are joining us here today. If you have not read this book yet, I want to encourage you to go ahead, pick up a copy and read it. Um, many times the excuse that people give me is that they don't have the time to sit down and read a book. And I know that that is a poor excuse today. Everybody has more time than they know what to do with. And so uh, if you haven't read it yet, go ahead, pick up a copy of the book and, and read it. Today, uh, we really want to come to you with something special. I mean, uh, many of you who are already within the Life Nerd community, you know what it is that we're going to be sharing. Jason, are you with us now? Okay, cool. So uh, some of you have heard some of the things that we're going to be sharing before, but we really want to address some of the things that are going on in the Life and Air principles in the midst of what it is that we are experiencing here today. Life and Air as a company is a company that's focused on helping people to build better lives. You know, we do that by building better people. We build better businesses, better leaders, better entrepreneurs, better families and marriages. We really focus on helping people to be better and to live and experience an abundant life. And we do that by teaching life and air principles. And those principles are something that have been changing people's lives since the day I started sharing them. And they are as relevant, if not more relevant today than they have ever been. And we wanted to just come to you with a special call really to help, uh, particularly for those of you who haven't been there before, to share these things with you. Um, you know, we're not just a company, but we are a community of people who are living and experiencing abundant lives through applying these principles to their lives. Now, today we're living in a time of unprecedented uncertainty. I mean, we've never experienced the things that we're experiencing right now. And so for many people, their pursuit of the American dream is potentially in shambles. They're, they're at least the thought of it is, you know, they're, they're just struggling with, okay, what's going on? What's happening? What is happening in my life? Um, you know, your definition of what it means to be prosperous might be rocked right now. You might be wondering, uh, you know, I was on such a good track and I was doing so many things right and what's going to happen to all of it? And, you know, in these times of uncertainty, I've been speaking to a lot of people just constantly over the course of the last couple of weeks. Um, that really accelerated a whole lot last week. I was on the phone just over and over and over with people, just uh, some people talking them off the ledge, <laughs> other people, how excited they were that they got involved with Life and Air um, because this doesn't really change a whole lot for them. And you see, there are many people that are being affected. And I, I'm not going to sit here and lie to you. Life and Air has been affected by this as well. We, we do live events. We share our message for the most part via live events. We, we get a bunch of people into a room, we share a message with them, and we spend three days just pouring into people and changing their lives. And our upcoming events have been postponed, just like, you know, so many other people's businesses have been affected. Um, ours has been in that way as well. However, one of the things that you need to understand about us is that we desire, strongly desire to change people's lives, to change people's hearts, to, to get them pointed in the right direction and to make an, an impact, not only in their life, but in their businesses. One of the things about life and air is that we can sort of say that we were prepared. We didn't know what was coming in this regard. So, you know, we weren't prepared for like, hey, there's this virus coming that's gonna shut everything down. But as a company, we were prepared for not only just being able to do things in the good times, but also when people needed it most. As a company, we were prepared for that. And it's the way that I have built my businesses and I have done that now for many years. Um, I was coaching and helping people back during 9-11. I was uh, coaching people through the market downturns back in 2008. And I, I have continued to do that. And right now, I want to be there for as many people as I can. And so we're doing everything we can to adjust to what's going on so that we can continue 
to help people, to focus on uh, changing people's lives. And we don't want this to hold us back from uh, accomplishing our goals. And so as a company, uh, we've sort of been prepared for that. We had a lot of time already. We already had time with our families. We already had time for the important things. And I know that right now, many people have time that are being freed up and they're doing things that they hadn't done in years. They're spending more time with their families. They're playing games with their families. They're doing all those kinds of things. Um, but we already had that. So not much changed for people who have been living and walking this life and air lifestyle. Um, in fact, we might have more time, but I'm taking a lot of that extra time that I have right now and really pouring it into other people. I'm using that time to help people who didn't have those things in place before or encouraging some of the people who have been well on that path to stay on that path because even some of the, the people who are doing really well, there's still a lot of question marks and then people bombarding them with fear. And uh, as they sit here and they look at what they have done and the life that they have built using life and their principles, they're finding a peace and knowing that, you know, not a whole lot has changed. And I just need to, you know, uh, take the fear that's being thrown at me and push it aside. And I'm going to live and experience the abundant life. This is really, this doesn't really change a whole lot for me. And that's one of the things that we want to come and talk to you about. And so, um, in the midst of all of this, I think a lot of people are questioning what is real prosperity and what is true prosperity? And that was the question that I was faced with many years back um, as I started to build my business and I started to do everything that I was supposed to do. And I started acquiring all kinds of uh, assets and my net worth went from nothing to something really impressive. Um, in the midst of all of that, the world was looking at me like I was super successful. Um, I had people patting me on the back all the time, people telling me how they wanted to be like me, people wanted to learn from me. They said they wanted what I had, but deep down inside, I was thinking, no, you don't. You don't really want what I have because what I was experiencing was something different than what they all believed I had. And so, uh, what I came to realize was that I was going down this path of acquiring a whole lot. I was making a lot of money. I was building a, a large portfolio of assets, but there was something that was missing and I couldn't really pinpoint what that was. And what I came to eventually realize was that I was pursuing the world's definition of prosperity and I had never taken the time to think about that for myself. I didn't have in my mind, what it meant to live a prosperous life. And that was a life-changing moment for me when I came to realize that what I was pursuing, and I was good at it. I was, I was doing everything that the world was telling me to do. I was pursuing success the way the world laid out success. And the plan worked. It really, really worked. I mean, I, I, I did all everything and it worked out perfectly. But the problem was, the end result of that plan wasn't what I was looking for. And when I sit here today and I think about prosperity, to me, prosperity means being able to do what I want to do when I want to do it. I want to have freedom to live and experience life. I want to be able to experience relationships. I want to have time to be able to invest into other people. And I don't want to just be so inundated with having to work and, and, just grinding all of the time, trying to make ends meet to live and support a lifestyle that the world tells me that I'm supposed to have. And so it was a life changing thing for me to start to see this differently. And so, you know, one of the things that we have done is we have really been focused on teaching people what it really means to live a life of prosperity and to help them to define what that is. And we teach people the four stages to prosperity. And we have been doing this now for years. Jason, did you want something to, to add something there? Jason, you're muted. You can hear me, but we can't, I can't hear you. How about now? Now I can. Okay, so these four stages of prosperity, it's, it's interesting that, um, and you mentioned, I wanna reemphasize, these aren't just when things are going well. 
it's not just when life is throwing you all uh, lob balls, right? It's when the curve, when the curves come, when the universe decides to conspire against you or when, when we have a worldwide pandemic or when um, re, it, it's for the good and bad. And so the same principles of prosperity are also, you could think of them as being principles of stability uh, and assurance and certainty. And they, and they allow you to set up your life in a way um, that you are unshaken. You're unshakable maybe even perhaps uh, to, to what life throws at you. Yes. And so the core of that is our four stages to prosperity. And one of the things that I will share with you is that Jason and I are going to be redoing that four stages course here in the next uh, couple of weeks. Uh, we have more time. So we're going to redo some of our things and update some of our things and improve some of what we have. And, uh, and I'll just leave that with, with you. You know, I have shared with many people that we have no idea what God is doing for each and every person here. My goal as a coach is not to take every single person and put them into this one size fits all program and, and have everybody become the same person in the end. My goal is to help people thrive, and, but it's to thrive where they're supposed to thrive. It's to help them live and experience the life that they're supposed to live. And so as we are going into this, I recognize that there are some people are supposed to slow down. And some people are supposed to reconnect with their families and some people are supposed to reconnect with God. And then there's other people who doors of opportunity are opening for them and they're supposed to walk through those doors and they might see an abundance uh, when it comes to their businesses, unlike anything that they have ever seen before. And, and still others, this is a time to just sit down and maybe refine. You've got a good business, but refine your processes and shore things up. And that's one of the, the stages that Life in Air is in right now. We are focused on being the best that we can be as a company, the same way that we try to help everybody be the best that they can be and to help people that experience better. And so this is one of the things that we're focused on right now. And so like Jason said, these principles were relevant before and they're every bit as relevant today. And so for those of you who have not been through this process, we want to be able to take you through, through this process and begin to set the foundations in place so that as we experience the ups and downs of life, that for you, not much is gonna change because you're gonna have a clear vision of where it is that you wanna go. So when I say, I, we have repeated a couple of times the four stages to financial prosperity. The number one stage is the one that we want to focus on today because it is the most important one. And this is the stage that most people skip. Most people don't ever take the time to do this, but it is the foundation of everything that we do and everything that we teach within Life and Air. See, as a society, we admire success. And we sit here and we're willing to go ahead and take risks. We're willing to strive. We're willing to work really hard. We're willing to invest into ourselves and educate ourselves and do all of these different things so that we can have success and be more prosperous. The problem is that most of us are doing all of those things and taking all of those steps without knowing exactly why we're doing it. We haven't really visited why. We don't have a clear vision as to what the outcome of all of that is supposed to be. We listen to what somebody tells us and it sounds good. You know, we can watch, uh, you know, I, I don't even know because I don't watch TV really too much, but I don't even know if they have infomercials on anymore, but they, you know, the palm trees in the background and, you know, this is what your life is supposed to be. And once you've achieved this, you're successful. And, you know, that's somebody else painting a picture for you. At Life and Air, we help you to paint your own picture. We want you to be the one to design your vision for your life, to come up with a vision of what it is that you desire to live and experience in life. And so at the end of the day, we have taken many people through this process. And there's one thing that I can say is fairly consistent, that as we walk with people down this path and through this process, that they desire to have freedom. They want to be free to be able to do the things that they want to do, to live life on their terms, and to not have somebody else telling them what it is that their life is supposed to look like. Now, most people, until they really get a grasp of that, they would say, yes, I want freedom. But most people don't enjoy or like what they're doing right now, and so they wanna see this complete overhaul. 
In fact, uh, just as a simple example, I, I have many people who tell me that, you know, I want to retire uh, and I want to retire by the time I'm 40 or I just want to retire because I'm tired of doing what I'm doing. And they're telling the truth when they say that. Their reasoning for wanting to retire is because they don't like what they're doing right now. But I will go out on a limb and I'll say that most of us don't want to retire. Most of us like to work. If all of a sudden you didn't have to work and we're, we're seeing that right now, after another week or two, most of you are going to be going crazy if you're still sitting in your house and you haven't been able to go out and do something productive. You're going to be sitting here just itching, wanting to go and work. You know, I tell my students all the time to say, I just want to be on the beach all the time. They will be bored out of their mind within a week or two of sitting on the beach. They, they, that, that is just something that they're built differently. We do like to work. And so when I hear people sitting here saying, well, I want to retire, most of the time they're not saying, I want to retire. What they're saying is, I don't like the fact that I have to do what I'm doing now, and I want the freedom from not having to do that anymore. And so most of us, when we can begin to get in touch with what it is that we really want, we can begin to start to create this vision to get us to where we want to be. You see, I'll, I don't think that I will ever retire because I love what I do. Um, and the simple fact is, I don't have to do it. I don't get up Monday morning and do what I do because I have to, because my lifestyle dictates it. I actually do it because I like it. And so this is one of the principles that, you know, we eventually end up at as we take people through this process. And so um, one of the things I had shared earlier was that I have coached many people through the downturns already. And the things that we had focused on uh, to help people to thrive through the downturns uh, was that they've had a life. They had a vision. They were focused on their life. When people sit here and they build and their vision is their business, and then we have something like what's happening right now, and then your business gets completely rocked, well, then everything around you gets compromised. You see, back before I achieved success in the real estate investing world, I was in the restaurant business and I gave everything to my restaurant business. I was willing to lay it all on the line. I gave my life to it. Um, I was working like 80 plus hours a week, but my goal was to be successful. And I was doing the things that were considered to be admirable in the eyes of the world. Now, in the back of my mind, or, or even the words that maybe even came out of my mouth was that I'm doing this for my family. I'm doing this because I want to provide more. I want to provide for my, my family. I want to give them the best of everything. And the reality of the situation is the things that I was saying were important to me were the things that I was sacrificing. And so when all of a sudden my world got rocked in that business and that business came crumbling down, so did everything else. Because I didn't give anything to the things that I said were important. In fact, I sacrificed the things that I said that were most important to me so that I could build that business. And you know what, that pattern continued even into my real estate investing years. As I started having tremendous success as a real estate investor, I was still doing it at the expense of those that were most important to me. I was doing it at the expense of those I said I was doing it for, and I was sacrificing what was most important. Thank God and his grace, he allowed me to see that this time around. And I didn't sit here and lose all of that while I was building my business. Instead, he opened my eyes and he allowed me to see. And so I've experienced many, many different trials throughout the years in my own business and in my own life. And the other times I always ask, I say, okay, God, why? Why are you letting me experience this again? And inevitably, I know and I have learned from my own personal experiences that what happens is every time I go through something, I'm able to use it to help you. I'm able to use it to teach, to help my students, to be able to relate to them, um, and hopefully to lead you down a path that you can be more successful with and not have to experience the trials and the tribulations that I've experienced. And so if I can head that off for you and help you, um, I'm, I'm, it sounds crazy, but I'll experience trials and there's many times I'm experiencing trials and I say, okay, Lord, thank you you know, who's going to need this from me now, you know, someone's going to need this and you're taking me through it so that I can, I can be more prepared for them. And so um, I, I sort of almost embrace some of those trials, but 
I would never go back and change any of it because it has en enabled me to be a coach for so many others today and to help others. And it's through my own experiences that I'm able to help all of you. So as I started to achieve success as a real estate investor, I, you know, the whole world around me was just like, Steve, you're doing great. You're, you're, you know, this is awesome. We want to learn how to do what you're doing. We want to have the same thing as you. And deep down inside, I was thinking, you don't want what I have right now because I didn't feel successful. I know that the amount of money in my checkbook was going up. I know that my net worth was increasing almost daily. I know that I was acquiring more and more assets. And I know that based off of what everybody told me, I should have felt successful, but the reality was I felt lonely. And I didn't want to tell anybody what was going on because they all thought I was successful. I didn't want to let them down. I didn't want to make them think that, you know, there was something wrong or that, you know, I, I had to sort of keep up that image because that's what everybody believed. And so I also started lying to myself. I started saying, well, you got to be really close because everybody thinks you're there. And, you know, maybe it's one more big deal or you just have to do some bigger deals or it's, it's one big payday away. And, and I started taking more risks. I started laying more on the line because I, I was thinking that that finish line was, was getting really close. But in the midst of all of that, I started recognizing that my own marriage was starting to be compromised. I started to realize that I was generous and I was starting to get very grumpy when people started asking me for things. I started realizing that my health was being compromised. I was experiencing stress all the time. I was losing sleep at night. And I just thought to myself, this isn't what I wanted. I thought that becoming successful was going to give me freedom. And it was in that moment that I realized that the plan that I was pursuing never said freedom. In fact, what people had told me was do this, do this, do this, and, 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 and run with it. And then someday you'll be able to be free. And I came to realize in that moment was, I don't want to wait till someday. I want it now. I want to experience life today. And that was a huge revelation for me because then as I started questioning what prosperity really was and I started coming up with my own definition, there was a big lesson that I've learned and I've shared that with many people now moving forward. And the one thing that I learned was that prosperity wasn't just about money. And uh, it wasn't how much my net worth was. It wasn't how much money I made. And there's one message that I don't want to come across here. I am in no shape, way, or form against making money. Um, I like money. I like making money. Um, but what I don't want to do is sacrifice my life and the things that are most important to me for money. So uh, last week I had a, a call with one of my students. And uh, when uh, he opened up the call this way, I said, how are things going? How, how are things going for you? And he said, Steve, I cannot begin to tell you how thankful and grateful I am for life and air. He said, 11 months ago, before I had come into the program, if this would have hit me, it would have destroyed me. He said, I didn't have a life. He said, I was so focused on just acquiring more and making as much money as I can. And he said, I was going nowhere. I, I was grinding all the time. I was already stressed out then. He said, I can't imagine where I would be had that happened had what's taking place now happened 11 months ago. He said, but since I came into life and air, I have made all of these different adjustments. I really focused on freeing myself up to live and experience life. And he said, I'm just really content right now. He said, I'm being patient. I'm looking for what doors open for me, what opportunities open, but life is good. And he said, and I attribute it to the process that I started 11 months ago. And so I'm not worrying. I spoke with another student who, I got to tell you, he was one of the hardest cases I have ever dealt with within the organization. And, but I knew, I knew if I could just get him to embrace the principles that we teach, that it would begin to change his life as well. And to just make a long story short, I was talking with him yesterday and I said, how are you doing? How are things going for you? And he said to me, he said, Steve, I am in the best place that I've ever been in. I've never been better. And he started sharing with me some of the things that he hadn't been sharing with me on a regular basis. He, but he shared with me yesterday. He said, Steve, I have, I have really learned how to just be quiet, 
to be patient, to meditate, to focus on asking God, what is it that you want from my life? And he said, I have had more peace through all of this than I've ever experienced in my life. And you know, Steve, I'm not a person who has ever had peace before, but right now I've got it. And, and he said, uh, so it was, it was just super exciting to hear that. But you know, this, this is somebody who uh, maybe a year ago was maybe one of the hardest cases I've ever had to work with. And I knew he was going to be hard, but I also knew that if I was committed to him and he would just begin to embrace the processes and the principles that they would work for him just like they have for everybody else. And so um, through my own personal experiences, through the experiences that I have had with students, um, we have seen this play out over and over again. Where it started for me was I had to sit down with a pen and paper and begin to write down a vision for my life. Now, from that, I have created a process that we have helped many people do that with. But for me, the first time, I didn't have that process. I didn't have something to do all of that with. I just sat down and I was just brutally honest with myself and said, what is it that I want? What do I want my life to look like because right now other people are telling me what to do and they're assuming, making assumptions about what it is that I want out of life and they're missing the mark. And so as I sat down and I started writing out what I want my life to look like, I addressed every aspect of my life. I addressed everything from my, my relationships, my marriage, to the home that I wanted to live in, to how charitable I wanted to be, how I wanted to spend my time. There was many different elements to my vision, which makes up the whole process that we take people through today. Everything from uh, what our spiritual lives look like to what our friends and family lives look like to our hobbies and what personally gratifies us. All of these different things that we take people through was something that I did for the first time myself. And then I redefined what prosperity was, what was it that I was really doing? I was changing the rules of the game. You see, we sit here and we live and we play this game called life. And most of us are playing by the rules that the world makes for us. The world is the one who sets the rules of this game. And for me, I changed the rules. And I said, you know what? I'm tired of playing your game. Your game is a game that I can't win. Because every single time I get close, you're going to change the rules on me. Or you're going to raise the bar to something or you're going to move it over to here, or gosh, in some cases, legislation is passed, and, and it changes the way that I have to do business, and, and I, I sat here, and I just set myself up to win. I created a game that I could win, and I determined what the winner of that game was going to be, and it was the life that I wanted, and, you know, I, I make a joke, you know, because my son, when I will actually play games with him, will actually change the rules of the game in the middle of the game so that he can win. And that was one of the things that I sort of did. I changed the rules of the game so that I could win. And, uh, and once I went and I did that and I changed those rules, everything around me changed. My entire life changed. And I started doing things that were different than what everybody else was telling me I should be doing. And when they would sit there and they would ask me, why are you doing it? I would tell them, some of them would tell me I was crazy. They would tell me that I was wrong. But in the midst of all of that, I knew that the decisions I was making was going to get me the life that I wanted. And I will also tell you this, that there were some people, like I said, some people said I was crazy. Some of them stopped talking to me, but it didn't take long before they started asking me, tell me more about that. What was it that you were doing? Because I really want the life that you have today. It took me a little bit while to get from where I was then to where I wanted to get to, but it eventually all came together. You know, Steve, as you're speaking, one thing that's striking me is like, it feels like the rules of the game have just been changed on us, right? This, this pandemic has changed the rules of the game in some people's businesses, what they do for a living, whether, they're, whether they've had to be, uh, take time off from their job, what their situation is like. And so the rules, again, that, that we haven't necessarily uh, set for ourselves is affecting us. It's impacting us. And also when you're, when you're sitting here talking about um, people thinking you're crazy when you started living this way, uh, I, I'm already getting this from some of my non-life and air friends that, that, that I'm crazy for not freaking out about everything that's going on right now. And so it's fun, kind of funny how this comes full circle. It is. 
And it does, it, it comes around, but the reality of the situation is not much has changed for us. And um, we know we set our lives up to, to where we would experience prosperity in good times or bad times. And that, is, that was one of the keys. And so I wanna just be able to you know, touch upon as I sat here and I set my vision up for my life, you know, this was the foundation for everything. I needed to filter all of the decisions that I was making through that vision. And so whether they were financial decisions, whether they were life decisions, whether they were business decisions, I needed it all to filter through the vision that I created for my life. And the goal was that the decisions I made had to draw me closer to living and experiencing the life that I wanted to live, not further away. And so one thing that I had come to realize was that as I was doing everything that I was supposed to do prior to having a vision, it was all focused on the acquisition of more things. It was accumulating wealth. It was building my net worth. And, and in the midst of that, I created a lifestyle that was very complicated. And what I mean by complicated, it was pretty. It was, it was a beautiful lifestyle. It was, you know, I had the big house and, and, and everything that I owned was very impressive. I had the big mountain top house down in North Carolina. But the, the thing about it was, it required me to give my life to service that lifestyle. My life had to be sacrificed in order to maintain that. And I came to the realization that that is what was taking place. Yet others were telling me to keep on doing that. And so when I sat here and I changed the rules and I wrote my vision, the one thing I knew was I wanted my life to be simple so I didn't have to work so hard to just get by. And uh, that's, that is essentially what had happened. So I focused on experiencing prosperity through simplicity, which is one of the principles that we teach. We actually help people to experience a life of prosperity by keeping life simple. And when we complicate life, then when things go wrong or when the inevitable market turn or something happens, all of a sudden that complicated life becomes very disturbing to us. But if we have kept it simple, I can sit here and I can make ends meet for my family doing just about anything. If the worst thing happened, and, and I, you know, this isn't to, to suggest anything bad, but I mean, one place that's always hiring, Walmart or McDonald's, I mean, I can go to Walmart or McDonald's and get a basic job at either one of those places and take care of my family because our life is simple. Now that doesn't mean that we don't have much and I don't want anybody to get the wrong picture. I don't live in a box. I don't live, you know, so simply that you would think that I don't have a nice lifestyle. In fact, uh, anybody who has been to my home knows I have one of the nicest homes in town, but we have done it in such a way that it's simple and it's easy for us to maintain. And so that was a key element within my vision was I needed to be able to, um, live life simply that I wasn't going to create a lifestyle that was so complicated that my, I spent my whole life just trying to service the lifestyle. And so uh, to the point that I made earlier, I came to realize that prosperity wasn't just about money, um, but it was having the freedom. My entire vision was focused on having the freedom. I still like to have nice things, but I don't want those nice things to have me. I want to be able to own nice things, not have the nice things own me and control me. And so this is where the birth of Leifner came. And so Leifner puts life first. The reason why we go into business in the first place, the reason why we pursue careers or get educations is because we desire to have a better life. But most of us take that life, we put it on a shelf until someday after 30 or 40 years worth of work, maybe more, maybe 50, you know, years worth of work, we have made enough money so that we can pick our lives back up off the shelf and start to enjoy it. And that's the typical American dream. That is the plan that most Americans pursue. And I don't know about the rest of you, but I don't have the patience to take my life and put it on a shelf for decades in hopes that one day my pursuits will, will actually give me life back. I don't know where my health is even gonna be decades from now if I'm gonna be able to enjoy life when this finally catches up, once I finally make enough money. 
And that is what happens to so many people. You know, you hear about so many people, they get to that point where now they, they've worked and worked and worked and worked, and then they finally get to the point where they can retire, and they retire to go live the good life, and then within a year, they pass away. And they worked all of those years in hopes of being able to enjoy the good life. I don't know about the rest of you, but I want to enjoy and experience life right now. I want to experience it today. Today might be the last day that I have, and I want to give my all today. Um, I, the fact of the matter is none of us knows how much time we have, and I'm not willing to put it off or defer it. And so with Life and Air, we start with that vision where we put life first, and then we design the business, we design our career, we design what it is that we're going to use as our source of provision to help us to live that life in such a way that it serves the life that we want to live, and it doesn't take away from it but instead it gives us life. Um, and that's one of the biggest mistakes that I see people making when they are doing this. And so um, today, because, uh, because Life and Earth have been doing this and they've been putting it into place, they have the ability to sit back and be patient. Many of them are being patient right now with where all of this is going. Um, they're not getting all antsy. They're not sitting here trying to figure out, hey, what's my next step going to be? And so, um, I just share with you the, the, the whole idea of prosperity through simplicity. And again, Jason and I are going to put together a whole new course on these four stages, and we'll be releasing that sometime soon. But once we sit here and we focus on this prosperity through simplicity, we have this vision in place. The vision is step one, and that's the one that I really wanted to focus on. But I want you to, I'm going to jump to step two just so I can share with you why it's so important. Step two or stage two in the four stages to financial prosperity is making ends meet. You see, if we have a vision for our lives and it's a complicated one that requires us to make a lot of money in order to live and experience that life, we need to now go out and spend a lot of time making that money. We're gonna give most of our lives to making that money. And that's the way most Americans live. Some people have been gifted with the ability to make a lot of money in a short period of time. And that is great, but still most people who are able to do that end up creating a lifestyle that requires all of it. And they create a lifestyle that requires them to use everything that they make. And the moment something goes wrong, the moment an event like what we're experiencing right now with two weeks or four weeks of potentially limited income can completely compromise everything for them because they weren't prepared for that. Um, many people have built good businesses when that, that work when things go well. Life and air's plan for these. These kinds of things are inevitable. I shared with you, I have already experienced a number of different things just in my time that I have been coaching people. Everything from 9-11 uh, to the market crash to what we're experiencing right now, about once every eight to 10 years, something like this is going to happen. And it can happen more often than that. And I watch people who don't take this into consideration at all. They act like this will never happen and they need for everything to be working perfectly in order to live a good life. And so we help you to design your life in such a way that even things like this, sure, is it an obstacle? Is it a bump in the road? Yes, it can be a bump in the road, but the reality of the situation is we just look ahead and we know where we're going. Uh, the worst part is when you don't know where you're going and then something like this comes in and rocks your world. People who, are that, who don't have a vision for where they're going, this, they're the ones who really, really end up in a pretty bad place. And so having that foundation in place, having your vision, which is the most important thing, is the thing that we want to encourage all of you to do. Because once you have that vision in place, then you can begin to structure what stage two looks like. Right now, every one of us already lives in stage two at some level or another. We all get out there and do something to earn income for our livelihoods, but we can begin to start designing stage two in such a way to serve the life that we wanna live. We get to make decisions differently. And so this is what we walk people through. Stage three and stage four, which I'm really not gonna talk about today. I know it gets people excited, but those are the wealth building stages. Um, those are the stages that most people try to skip to. Most people just try to go right to wealth building without having the foundation in place. And the difference between what life and heirs are experiencing and what so many others are experiencing right now is that life and heirs know where they're going and other people are lost. 
And so it is my desire to help. And so I want to do everything that we can to help people through these uncertain times right now. I have walked beside people through the, the market crash in the past and, and through 9-11, I was walking beside people through all of that and helping them to come out on the other side of this thriving. And the key is having a vision, which is that that's the number one thing that we want to, to help you with. Normally, we do that through our live events. And those events, we bring people together. Some of you or many of you have probably already been to some of those events in the past and others have not for whatever reason. It hasn't been convenient. You just haven't had the time. Maybe you didn't even know that we did those events. But the reality is right now they're postponed and I would love to tell all of you to come to one of our events, but we can't offer that to you at this very moment, um, but we still wanna help. And so we are going to be putting together a live stream event uh, sometime here in the near future. But the good news is we were also just in the process of releasing our home study course. Uh, and the home study course is something that you can work on uh, at your own pace and be able to get this done. And we just sort of had been sort of like pushing and pushing and pushing to get this done right now because we know that people are home. You are now in a position to be able to sit down and to take this in and to really work through this and to get this done. Um, it, it is an unprecedented time. We, we have uh, just more time available to us to be able to work on these kinds of things than we have had. And I almost see this as a gift for so many people that we should take advantage of this time and make the absolute most of it. And so we are in an unprecedented time and one of the things that we are going to be doing here at Life and Air to help as many people as we can is we're making an unprecedented offer. And Jason, I don't, can you pick up and just share with yeah. everyone what? You no, know, and before I go there, I got to tell you, Steve, um, there's, there's so many things that have aligned perfectly right now that I believe this is really, um, for people who set themselves up correctly, this is going to be something that's going to be life changing. Uh, for generations to come. And I know we already have a lot of students on the line and, and you can attest to this, but you know, for instance, the home study course uh, literally about maybe two, two and a half weeks ago was completed. Um, and then just coincidentally, right, things start happening uh, in our country and around the world. And so this is something I believe like uh, all the forces of nature, of God, of, of, of the universe, everything is converging. And so um, what we've put together here, because I know there's not, a, we have a lot of students on the call. We have a lot of people that uh, are not students on the call as well, or you're looking on Facebook Live. And so um, those of you who are, who are students, um, I, uh, I apologize if, if this is something that is go going to uh, um, be significantly uh, different than, than what you got in the program. However, I'll tell you this. Uh, especially a lot of you titanium students, you, you're already taking advantage of all this incredible stuff. And so for those of you who, who are, are hearing Steve, and it sounds great, but you're kind of, uh, you know, it, you, maybe you're lost and you don't know where to start um, and you want us to help you, this is, this is for you. If you're somebody who just heard Steve talk about these, the four stages, which by the way, we only, only really talked about two. If you're the kind of person that likes to fill in the blanks on your own and, and connect the dots on your own, do your best to just, you know, get plugged into the community on the app and, and take it a stab at it from there. Um, if I can, well, Jason, I want to just oh, yeah. also bring that up because as far as timing is concerned, I mean, we've been working for a long time to get a life in our app up and running. And that was to bring the whole community together. Yes. And what we wanted to do was create an environment where we could all come together um, and this wasn't even going on when, when we were working on this, but we wanted to bring everybody together so that we could encourage one another to be there for one another. I want to sit here and be able to help as many people as I can. For those of you who are already in the app, you know I'm in there. I'm answering questions. I'm helping people. And if you're not in there, we want to encourage you to become a part of the community because we're there to help. And so within the community, we're also giving, you know, the tools and everything that people would need. And so here's where we're going with all of this. Um, for those of you who really 
want to take things to a different level and take advantage of some of the things. Maybe in the past you've said, you know what, I want to become a part of life and air. It's just not the right timing or anything like that. We are making an unprecedented offer that's unlike anything we have ever given before. Uh, one of the things that we are going to do is basically uh, open up our Life and Air Insiders program, which we have not really offered much in the last couple of years. But the Life and Air Insiders program is one where you come on into the program, you get to participate in all of the coaching calls and everything that we offer each and every month. You get to access to all of the courses and everything that we have. You get access to our Get a Life Getaway, the new home study course that we're just releasing. And by the way, for those of you who are already in it, the course is being made available right now. And we want to encourage you to go back to it, work on your visions again, refine your visions during this time. But you will get access to not only the Get a Life course, you're going to get access to all the other courses, the business courses, the real estate courses, everything else that we have ever put out. Um, all of that is going to be made available to everyone who wants to go ahead and be able to take advantage of that now with what we're offering. But in addition to that, uh, one of the things where the magic really happens is at our live events. We're going to do a live stream event sometime here in the very near future. But we also want you to be able to come out to one of our real live events. When we are able to have those events again, we are passionate about having them. Uh, we love doing them. We're going to offer two tickets to every single person who takes advantage of this offer that we're going to give today to be able to come to that event. Um, so you're going to get two tickets for that. Our entire Life and Air community gets together once a year. We do that with our Life and Air Summit. And our next Life and Air Summit is going to be in January of 2021. We are going to have a summit where we bring all of the community together, where you get to rub shoulders with all of the people who have been a part of Life and Air for many years, many of them who you know, who are the teachers and things that you look up to and respect today. That summit is going to take place in January of 2021. This is something that we've never offered to people on this level before, where that they can be able to come to those summits. But we're going to offer the tickets for those summits to anybody who signs up with this today. And so here's the deal. We're just going to cut right to the chase. In the past, there's always been an upfront fee to be able to come on in. And the cost of the program has been anywhere from 97 to $297 a month, depending upon the things that were being offered. And this time we are giving it everything, all of it, that we're not doing anything. There's not gonna be any upfront fee. We're not going to, we're gonna offer it for the lowest price that's ever been offered. It's just gonna be $97 a month. So for $97 a month, anybody who would come on in um, you can still be a part of the community without being in it, but you'll get to be part of the community. You get to be on all of the coaching calls. You get to have our help with you working through your vision. You're going to be able to get access to the home study course, all of the real estate courses, two tickets at a live event, the, the um, summit, and then the live stream event that we do. All of that stuff is going to be $97 a month. You come in, you get access to everything. Um, moving forward, um, the one thing that I want to say is we're not making you commit to anything. And, uh, the, but I'm going to ask this of you. We don't turn people's lives around overnight. I can share life-changing information with you overnight, but it's a process. And it actually takes time for you to begin to work through this process, to implement it, and to walk through this journey called life and to begin to see those changes being made. The average person who comes into life and air uh, sees their lives significantly change somewhere between the one and two year mark of being in the program. One to two years in is when they start to see life change. Now, for those of you who are wondering, hey, is this the, you know, the, the same coaching that you, you guys typically offer? This is not the same. You're not going to be part of one of our mastermind groups or have a one-on-one -on -one coach. Um, you're going to be part of the Insiders program. And the Insiders program is a program that you can make the most of it. You can sit here and, and participate in it as, as much as you want, as much or as little as you want. We want to encourage you to participate a lot because we're there to help you. And so just to put things into perspective, the home study course alone is a $997 product. 
we were literally going to be launching that product at $297 as a special just to, to put it out there as, as to get it, you know, to get it into the hands of people once it was completed. Times are different at this very moment. We're giving everything for $97 a month. And that $97 a month, as long as you're paying it, you can participate in the coaching for as long as you desire to be in it. And so it's probably the best deal. I don't want to say probably it is the best deal that we have ever offered. Um, the benefits of being in it is just having a sounding board of people who you can bounce things off of. You can get on a, a telephone call with a coach. You can ask coaches questions about your vision, about your struggles. How do I overcome this thing? How do I overcome this one obstacle? And the coaches are there participating on these calls with a strong passion, just like us, to change people's lives. All of our coaches are there for the same reason that we are. Their lives were changed. They want to share it with other people as well. And so we wanted to do something that was unlike anything we've ever done for others as well. And so we were making this available to the general public. Um, the Insiders program is something that we had not offered in a long time. I, I think it's close to two years uh, since the last time that we actually uh, made it readily available to the public. And we are now opening it up and making it the best deal that we ever have had to offer. And with that in mind, um, when you take to the simple fact that the new home study course is done and it's being released now, the new Life in Air app that you can access the community from your phone or your desktop, if you don't like to do it from your phone, you can access it from your desktop. We are there and ready to pour into everyone at this point. And so, uh, like Jason said, the, the timing of it all is, uh, I, I can't help but believe that there was a reason why this was all coming together right now. And so we wanna encourage all of you to begin to take those steps and to start focusing on developing your vision and preparing yourself to come out of this on the other end, thriving. And so, Jason, do you have anything to add? No, I mean, this is, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm excited for a lot of people, regardless of what your life looks like right now. If, you know, if you're, if you're already in life and you're, your things are probably pretty good for you and you're weathering this, this situation a whole lot better than others. And if this is something you're struggling with right now, this is your chance to, to change. Like what's, what's going to change, uh, if you, if you don't take the initiative to do that. And I, and this is why, um, our, our motivation for doing this is to, is to, we have, I think we have a big reset button right here that we can share with everyone. And I know my life has been, uh, I don't, I don't know where I'd be without life there. And so this is uh, our chance to share that with you. So I, I appreciate, um, appreciate everyone being online and investing in yourself to, to further yourself. Justin, uh, since I brought it up, we've had about a half a dozen people signing up for the app right now. And uh, so I want to, I do want to just encourage that. And uh, it's within the app that you're going to get all those other benefits. So yep. uh, we're there and I'm helping as many people as I can. And so we just want to encourage you, Jason, how can they find out about it? Yeah. If you want to take advantage of this, go to lifeinear.com slash thrive. The link is also in the chat box for those of you who are on the, on the webinar as well. We'll also make sure we post that on the Life Inner Facebook page too. Um, importantly, guys, listen, I don't know, and I don't know how long this offer is going to continue. And, and it, this is definitely um, not going to be out there forever. I'll tell you that. Um, but if this is, if you know this is something you need, then then do yourself a favor and just go ahead and and get and join us. Become an insider. Yeah, the reality of the situation is we are offering this up right now because of the times that we're in. And um, so, like Jason said, this is, uh, we want you to take advantage of it now. I want to help as many people as we can. And through this and, and with the app and everything, I can help more of you. So uh, encourage you, you know, go ahead, make the most of it now, make the most of the time that's available to you. And let's begin to set things up so that you come out of this thriving and be able to walk through situations like this a whole lot better moving forward. Absolutely. Anything else, Steve? That's all I got. I'm good. All right, everyone. Take care. We'll hopefully see you in the community on the app and in the program.